All right, guys, here we go. Uh, the second testing of all clads. The first test was chrome and black chrome, and uh, that went quite well. Uh, the, the stuff is just incredible. Uh, what it, it was a terrific chrome. Uh, you've seen it in the previous video. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and do uh, six random colors of theirs, um, types of metal. And I got these separated like this for a reason. Um, these can be airbrushed over anything. You know, they recommend standard primer. So uh, this is pale gold. Hold on, let's see if we can get this. Pale gold. This is steel. And this is dark aluminum. And as per instructions, you can, uh, see if I can get this so you guys can see it. Um, it says you can uh, put it on anything. Gray primer, white primer, black. So it doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is, because it says that, we will. We're going to put it on um gray primer i primed some spoons uh with there's a lot of bb's <laughs> in there in their primer gray micro filler primer um this is on the 10 bucks and there's a lot here and it's pre-thinned and it has you can hear it it's got the uh the bearings in it um it's a perfect neutral gray uh, you probably can't see it here you know i've done a lot of videos on priming so didn't bother filming the priming portion of this however we're going to do that because it says it can go over primer we're going to put it over primer now this these bottles will actually say put it over gloss black base or gloss clear base all right so um we're going to go ahead and, and i i pre uh pre spade the gloss black base here from all clad I did it several spoons with this so we're gonna do these three colors over what it calls for polished aluminum you can see how thin this stuff really is it's amazing that there's enough pigment in here to uh, do what it's got to do but um, the, the chrome looks like this and it really uh, I barely sprayed a coating on this and look how great it came out so that's polished aluminum this is airframe aluminum. Now, a lot of them look the same in the bottles, but when they go on, obviously, they look completely different. And uh, polished brass. This is the only brass I have. I have a lot of uh, uh, gold variations, but uh, gold, copper, but it's great to have a brass. Um, I think I just got in some brass for AK Extreme Metal, too, so maybe I'll even compare the brasses, but something you don't see that often. And this stuff can all be polished out, too. Uh, these also came in. Maybe I'll test them next. Um, this is their clairs. This is clear coat and gloss and clear coat matte. Uh, clear and coat are both with a K. God knows uh, why they did that. But uh, it's a nice size bottle for less than, I think it's less than 10 bucks. So um, we'll give this a shot too. I think this is pre-thinned also. Uh, yeah, you can probably tell it is. Nice size bottles too. So maybe we'll do that too. Uh, is it, so far I like the company. I like what they're doing here. Uh, the prices are, are good. The stuff works, which is very important. So um, we're going to go over and we're going to spray. I'm going to do it live on camera. I'm going to spray each one of these. We're going to put these on the primer base, these on the black base as they call for. Now this also says black base. What I might do is I got some extra spoons. We're going to see the difference spraying this on black. I know this won't show up like the chrome. It just you, it'll be invisible. It needs the black to produce what it's got to produce whereas these if it's if it doesn't require it, it means it's a different type of pigment it's probably very very pigment rich not requiring something else to bring its color out but we will experiment by doing these on black also all right so off to the spray booth and uh we'll start this experiment and test and we'll see you there all right guys here we are up at the booth we're going to start with pale gold this one says you can spray it on regular primer so we're going to do both, regular primer and the glass black, gloss black. Um, the others are just going on gloss black because I know they have to have it. Um, we'll see what the difference is on both. We'll start with what they recommend. I just took it with a pipette and put it straight into uh, the airbrush. No, no uh, just shake it well. Uh, you don't have to thin it at all. So uh, let's go ahead and see what we get. Oh yeah, it goes on. It covers right away.
almost there. That's it. It does cover well. Uh, you can buff this stuff, so maybe we'll buff it up a bit at the end, and we'll see the results. Let's try it over black. Don't forget to make sure it's clean, blow it off. But Well, being on black, you can see the results faster. Oh, piece of dust on it. Son of a gun. Well, we tried. Well, you know what? It comes out much... Much richer, deeper. It's hard to explain. But, like I said, we'll go through the results at the end. So, we'll go over it. But it covers very well. Just as good as the chrome did. So, that's the pale gold. We'll move on to the next color. Dark aluminum. We'll see in the next one. All right, we're back. Here we go. We're going to do dark aluminum on this one. Oh, can we get that in there? There we go. And uh, once again, over gray primer and the glossy black. Because the gold did show a difference. So we're going to go ahead with that. We put some in here straight out of the bottle. Let's see what we got. This is hard to see because light aluminum. It's pretty subtle. Well, you can see the reflection now, but uh, I think this definitely has to go over black. That's just my opinion. Now, you could use black primer, not glossy black. That's something we should have tried. But I already had the spoons and gloss, so. Um, dark aluminum. All right. Now, going in, glossy black spoon. Blow her off. All right, here we go. At least with the black, you can see what you're doing. It's you gotta you gotta reverse. You know, if it's a light color, you need a darker color primer so you can kind of see your work. And the gold, of course, was dark, so you can, you just see that right away. I think I like the tone of this still. Though. I think the I think the winner in all these is going to be black uh, glossy primer. Or in this case, I guess it could be. Regular primer, too, not even the gloss. Beautiful. It really looks like actual metal instead of paint. They're really, really good stuff here. Yeah, that's good. It looks great. Again, we'll compare them at the end. But so far, black is winning out for a base coat. That's uh, dark aluminum. We're going to move on to our uh, steel next. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. Uh, this is the final test of the uh, ones we're going to try on two primers. Uh, I just said it. This is steel. Uh, we're going to start with a gray spoon, like the last time. And I just straight out of the bottle in the cup. Make sure we're free of dust here. And... Let's go. Oh, geez, this covers right away. Wow. All right. Have you guys noticed that this stuff doesn't run? Uh, lacquer spray completely different from acrylics. I mean, you I, you saw my acrylic video. The patience it takes in doing it. 
you get great results. It's just a whole different method. This, you just throw it in the cup and throw it on here. I don't even think there's even a fear of running with this stuff. Anyway, let's cover this. It's pretty much covered as it is. Did not take much. This one didn't take much. I'm going to try and pile it on a little thick. And we'll try buffing it later on. You know, it's semi gloss uh, matte. Not quite flat, but you know, because metal is reflective. Now on the black spoon. Here we go. Make sure it's nothing on it. So it's going to mark it. Anyway, here we go. Uh, I'm first to say it. It looks just like this one looks like the primer. No, I'm not going to. I haven't put them side to side yet. Make it a little heavy with this. I don't have to go as heavy to get the dark that I got on the other one. But uh, I keep checking how much I got left. But that's it. That's over black. Almost identical, which means this, the darkness of this really didn't matter. It, it overtook the uh, the black. But anyway, at the end, we'll see the results. All right. Now we're going to go to just black spoons because that's all the, the next three bottles, the next three colors will work on. And uh, we will see you in a minute. All right, here we move on to uh, polished brass. Straight from the bottle, right into the cup. Only on a black spoon. Or black, I should say gloss black base, not necessarily a spoon, right? Dust it off and let's see what we got. Whoa, this goes on like uh, the chrome. Holy smokes, does this cover good? It has the same quality. It goes on with that fog and then it just fades away to a shine. This, I, I, I didn't even have to put as much, I did two drops when I did it. It's, 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 it's done. That's it. Beautiful. Alright, well, that's it for that one. <laughs> well, that's polished brass. We'll move on to the next one, which is airframe aluminum. Let me clean the brush, and uh, we'll move on. Alright guys, uh, moving on. Second to last, airframe aluminum. That is thin. I don't know what this looks like. I don't have a clue. Again, this is required only on a black base. So here we go. Holy. Wow. This, uh... This looks like the black chrome. It's, uh... We'll have to compare it at the end here, but you get your money's worth here, guys. When I tell you I just pushed this needle down about, what was it, four times just now, and it's covered. I don't even know why I'm still coating this thing. I think, I think we're done here. Yep, that's about it. <laughs> that went quick. This stuff is terrific. Anyway. That was airframe aluminum. I got this because uh, I want to try it on some frames for some of the some of the Gundams. Now we'll go over it in more detail at the end with the camera. Terrific. Well, off to the last one, which is polished aluminum. God knows, uh, can't be shinier than that one, but uh, we'll see. All right, guys. Last but not least in this test, anyway, will be polished aluminum. And like I said, that last one was pretty polished. Airframe aluminum, so quite sure with this one. And they also have a high shine aluminum, which God knows what that is. It must be a mirror. But 
Let's see what we get. I'm not crazy about that spoon. Looks like there's a mark in it. Let me get a better one. That's why you gotta spray a bunch of them. Dusting it off. All right, here we go. Looks like it's not doing it, and all of a sudden, it gets its look. But I can see where this has to have a black base, for sure. That's it. Yeah, it's a much deeper look. Very good looking. Almost, almost like it's tinted. Yeah. Anyway, that's polished aluminum, and we'll see what that looks like. At the end of the test. Maybe we'll even polish it to make it more polished alone. Anyway, guys, that's it. We're back at the bench. I'll let these things dry for a few hours and then uh, we'll see the results. All right, guys, here we are with the final results. Um, here are the, the ones that went over regular, primer, gray, and black, the black gloss. And then these won't work at all over regular primer. This is strictly black gloss. Um, let's see what we have. This was, uh, let's see, pale gold. And this is how it is. It's pretty dull, but it, it is pale. So but, uh, this is over regular gray primer. And um, I buffed it a little bit, you know, with a, with a light cloth. And um, it's a pretty nice gold. Uh, it's, it compares to uh, the gold I used on my uh, current Gundam. In, uh, it, 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 I'll say lacquer. It looks good like a lacquer from Mr. Color. But it, it still it has a really nice look to it. But it looks a little better on black. You can see it there. You can see the tone. So even though this one can go over, if you need something to look not quite as metal... Just a gold like you would on a, on a standard painting of, of a model. But if you want something to have a more of a metal look to it, this over black is the way to go. So even though this one doesn't even say black, it, it says over primers. It did say black primer, so I could I could have used a regular matte black primer. You know, I happen to have the gloss black. That's what I went with. So that's the result on pale gold. Quite nice, though. It's still, still pretty good. The next one is dark aluminum. This is over a gray primer. Again, I don't think... Uh, well, it looks like aluminum, like an aluminum rim on a car. You know, your car rims. Let me see. You know what I mean? Like that. You know, these are chrome. I paint all mine aluminum. You know, unless it's a, a hot rod. So, it does look it does look exactly like that. So, I guess that's what they were meaning to go for. You know, the aluminum rim color. And this is over the black. Now, this actually looks like real aluminum. So again, it brings out the true metal look that you're looking for. Yeah, look at the difference there. I mean, so that this was somewhat translucent, even though uh, it doesn't say so. On the, I would always put this over, but I wouldn't uh, shy away from using this for, like I said, those rims. It'd probably look phenomenal on a, on a car kit, you know. So, but that, there's a difference there too. So so far, I would stick with black primer for all clads. It seems anyway. Next up is steel. Look at it. <laughs> it looks like aluminum, and they all seem to have this look until it hits the the plastic. You know that's the pigment, but it's actually quite dark. Here it is over regular primer. Very nice. It's dull, but uh, I think that's the look it, it, it has anyway. It's it's not a shine like a a car would be. And this is it over black. Um, you can't see it here. It's got a slightly more of a shine and a dash more of depth. So this one is, this one's a coin toss. Um, but again, if you want to buy just save money, buy just one bottle of black primer from these guys. Uh, just go for it. Let me show you the black primer. Again, it is how to go on my shelf, right there. And this isn't even ten bucks for this giant bottle. I mean, you can see the size difference. So. I would just buy that, you know, save your money. Everything so far has looked good over black, and particularly the, the glosses. So that is steel. Very good color. Very nice. 
and now we're into the ones that will only show over the gloss black primer and um, this is polished brass and let me tell you something this looks like polished brass you know um, it's hard to uh, a brass instrument you know saxophone and whatnot it, it looks just like that I mean there it is in the bottle but boy you know I've rubbed it lightly even on my, even on a t-shirt put my t-shirt up it that's all I did just rub it quick and look what you come up with this is over black and you saw it in the video it went on in two seconds you really get your money's worth you can do a hundred miles probably with this bottle um, this is terrific I, I think this one looks great it, it just looks great um, that's a winner right there I thought the gold would have looked like that but only uh, it didn't but then again it is called pale gold so this is airframe aluminum this is my favorite it came out like in between the black and the chrome. And all the chrome I just did and then the black chrome video. You know, obviously, you're not going to see when you look at it that way. But boy, let me tell you, this is terrific. And um, I'll compare it right now to the chrome. Here's the chrome. And yeah, it's a little darker. But here is the black chrome, which is much darker. So it's probably in the middle. Uh, I didn't think I was getting a chrome piece when uh, I was doing this, but I did. I ended up with a chrome piece. Go figure. So, this is terrific. Uh, that That's my favorite. It, it, it just, it just, it's in between all of them. If you want to buy just one, I recommend Airframe Aluminum. Now, this is polished aluminum. This is as shiny as it gets. It, it's just, it's flawless. You can almost see my face there in the spoon. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's really close to the chrome. The chrome has just a slight bit of depth to it, which is hard to explain on camera, you know, and the black chrome. There's you know, a big difference there. Uh, but also, this is also great. Polished aluminum or the airframe aluminum, both going to give you a nice result. I figured this is the pick of the litter because it's, it's in between all of them. If you want to just get one, you want to do chrome on your models or some chrome on your Gundams or on your gun barrels, you know. This was a, a gun I did without using these colors and this is just straight up uh, I think this is my AK metal which I'm doing a video on soon but this isn't as as uh, deep shining colors as these are these are more of your standard uh, metal colors that you would get in your say mr. color lineup you know but if I'm gonna experiment with a gun and use these colors next but I'm also gonna do a video on the AK so you can guys can compare all of them um, there's no big price difference. I think the AK ones are even more money, but these, I think these blow them away. Uh, they're an enamel. These are a lacquer. These clean easy with uh, acetone to the gun in two seconds. You don't have to thin them. Um, this is terrific stuff. Uh, but that's the that's the comparison. And uh, I have a few more to go. Uh, I haven't gotten them in. Uh, I want to do a candy over uh, over the silver. And they make a clear blue candy for cars and candy red. Really nice looking. I'm going to do a red and probably um, a blue. That's coming up next. My other silver I tested that I wasn't crazy about. I'll show you the difference. This is Turbo Dork's Tin Star. This is their silver. And this is the result. Now, it's really flaky. and it, It's just it, it's kind of gaudy. But I think it's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be gaudy because it's for uh, little Warhammer figures. So... It's a whole different thing. I was hoping for something much more, but you can't compare. You, you, there's just no comparison. And even if you want to take uh, a sample of their regular dollar aluminum, it's still superior looking than these big flakes like an old Schwinn bike would have. Whereas, you know, these just look, they just look uh, like real metal. Like I said, though, this is more of an over the top color base. But, uh,. That's it for now, and don't forget to watch the other video if you didn't see it yet, when I did the two chromes, the black and the regular chrome. But this is a good cross-section, you know, steel, aluminum, gold, brass. I mean, they have probably 30 other ones that are like this, magnesium, burnt steel, carbon. Uh, I got more coming in. If they're that much different, I will put up a video to, to show them all. But I think this is a good spread so you guys can see the difference. If you need a shiny gold, you know, there's your, there, you need a shine chrome, you, you want to stick more duller colors. Yeah, that's your spread right there. Uh, I'll show you my paint collection so you can see where I'm coming from quickly. Let me unhook the camera. All right, here's the paint wall. Um, 
Here's the humbles, acrylic humbles, not enamel. These are one of my favorite acrylics. These are mission model acrylics. These are Mr. Paints. They call them MRP. These are from Slovakia. These are phenomenal. Um, that's a hybrid acrylic lacquer like uh, Tamiya. Um, here's Motos. These are uh, Korean copies of uh, Gaia Notes. And these are my sprays from... Uh, I use a spray every now and then. And these, those are all my clears, but you know I've gotten away from uh, spraying. I've done everything on airbrush since I've uh, settled in here. You can tell my experimentation on my spoons. These are all my missions. I wanted to look at all the blues and see what they look like. Matter of fact, here's all the blues from Humbrol, so you can see how I'm always experimenting. Here is uh, my experiment of the new Mecca colors from uh, Vallejo, and that's it. There, really good. That, that, that that's a good lineup. This is my favorite lineup from Vallejo who I'm not crazy about but I do like that lineup of paints this is my Mr. Color Collection here is Guy's uh, uh, Evangelum Color Collection a dear friend sent me those uh, from Nebraska and there's the rest up here hold on this is my aqueous lineup Mr. Color sorry if I'm going too fast here's all my thinners greatest thinner in the world right there Ultimate Airbrush Thinner is uh, universal for all the acrylics. Here's the Turbo Dorks. Here's my Tamaz. Here's my Star Wars. Uh, here's my Badger. These are all my primers on this shelf. These are all the primers. There's my thinners, all the different thinners. And there's the Extreme Metal Collection from uh, AK. So I, I'll do a video on them. I shot a video for this spoon here. I did the blue which is really nice um, but I'll do more of the metals you know because I do have the, the, the metal colors his bronze you know white aluminum so I, I'll go through those too I think I'll do a video so you guys can see those here's my Gaia notes here's some chroma ears someone sent me uh, there's the new AK lineup third gen next one up is the ammo by Migs and then uh, at the top is the Mecca color collection from Vallejo and I just Got one of these in. I gotta try this. These are car paints from. Uh, oops, I'm gonna drop it from True True Color. So I got that. Let's see what color that is. Red Jewel High Gloss. These are for cars. I have a bunch of car models, and this is Grabber Orange. That's for uh, a Mustang that I want to build. It is right there. That's your Grabber Orange. See, I tested all the oranges. You can see, and this is my AK Spoon Shootout. I want to look at all the blues for AK also. These are all gone, by the way, guys. This, this collection of uh, uh, testers, model masters, they're discontinued. If it says model master, it's gone forever. So if you see them and you like them, pick them up because they've been discontinued. Completely gone. So keep that in mind. These are my, still got my, my spoons from my uh, candy color shootout that I did some time ago. And that is it. And let's lock us in back... On my desk here there we go all right guys well that was it i hope you enjoyed this uh the next video i think uh i'm gonna try and do a candy color with these guys and then maybe i'll do the uh ak extreme metals so we can compare them all so you guys can decide which ones you like best and um that's it for now i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you on the next video